Hobby Lobby, she known as owned by a Christian owner. He stood up for a lot of things in this world. Been sued for several things because of it. He's getting ready to get rid of his company. CEO David Green says that wealth is a curse. That's the way he looked at it. And because he is rich toward God, he realizes that he was just a steward of Hobby Lobby. So you know what he's decided to do? He's not even going to give it to his kids. Because to him, it's a curse, all that wealth. You know, he's not even selling the company because he realized that he is just a steward of the company, that God allowed him to be a manager, a steward of it. You know what he's doing? He's giving the company away. Just giving it away to somebody else. He said, I'm just a steward of what God's given me. I don't own anything. And I'm just going to transfer that stewardship to somebody else. Something tells me that David Green is rich toward God and not a fool. So I want to encourage you this morning to ask yourself this question. What if this was the night that my soul was required of me? What if this was your last night on earth? Heaven or hell? Where would you spend eternity? I want you to know in 2 Corinthians 6 and 2, the Bible says, today is the day of salvation. God's given you an opportunity today to make that decision sure. Heaven or hell, which will it be? And I want to encourage you, don't be a fool. Trust Christ as your Savior today if you haven't done that already. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, so many times we spend a lifetime trying to build up wealth. Father, trying to store, scared to spend because all we can think of is that day when we take our ease that we want to eat, drink, and be merry. Father, we forget to be rich towards you. Father, I pray this morning. Father, as we examine our own hearts and our own lives. Father, I pray all across this building that everyone can leave here today and say, No, I'm going to be rich toward God. I'm going to honor him. I'm going to give him my life and trust him with my future. Father, I pray this morning if there's anyone here who hasn't settled it, they don't know 100% if they died today that they would go to heaven, that they would settle that before it's everlasting too late. <clears throat> Father, we never know. You hold our breath in the palm of your hand, your Bible says. So Father, this life that we have is yours anyway. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that today is the day of salvation for those who haven't trusted you. Father, there may be many here today that they just gotten distracted by life. Father, they've forgotten that, that they're just stewards anyway. They're not owners of anything. You own it all, Father. I pray today, Father, that they'll come back come back to the finished work of Calvary as the object of their faith, Jesus as the person of their faith instead of their possessions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.